Good morning guys and welcome back to Cardamom Kitchen. Today I'm going to continue with our Diwali series and show you how to make another sweet treat. So today we're going to learn how to make um, naan katai. So naan katai is a traditional Indian shortbread biscuit flavoured with Indian spices. It's um, very simple to make, very quick, only takes, well it takes less than 30 minutes and requires very few ingredients, um, most of which you'll probably have in your cupboards at home. So we've got 75 grams of um, wheat flour, just any normal wheat flour is fine. Uh, 25 grams of chickpea flour. If you don't have chickpea flour, you can use gram flour. Um, we've then got 75 grams, sorry, 65 grams of um, sugar. I've chosen to use brown soft sugar just because it gives a very nice soft consistency um, to the biscuit. You can use any regular um, granulated sugar, completely up to you. I've then got um, three tablespoons of melted ghee or clarified butter. And then for the flavoring, we have got um, half a teaspoon of browned uh, cardamom powder. And um, I've got a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of semolina, and then just um, a handful of nuts for garnishing. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix together all of the, the flours. So we've got the wheat flour, chickpea flour and sugar. We're also going to add in the semolina and the um, cardamom powder and the baking powder. That all goes in. You just want to mix this together and make sure it comes together nicely. So the great thing about this recipe is that it literally takes no more than 15-20 minutes maximum to make and you get such a nice dessert out of this. So this is all mixed together. I've literally just combined all of the ingredients and now I'm going to add the ghee. You don't want to add this all in at once. You want to add it in gradually um, as you may not need it all. You basically just want to keep adding it until it forms um, a dough. Um, and the great thing is there's no need to um, actually knead this dough. It will, it will form together just by uh, gradually mixing. So I should add, whilst I'm doing this, I've got the oven um, preheating at 180 degrees. Now just starting to get a bit crumbly. Almost there. So I'll show you where we are. So it's now gone quite crumbly and it's mixing together. So it just needs a little bit more mixing, a bit more ghee to just bring it all together. Tiny bit more. I don't want it to be too greasy. We just want to make sure that it all binds. So that has now formed into a dough. You can see. It's just a all of dough essentially that's that's all you need you don't need to keep mixing it or uh, knead it from your hands that's it so now what i've got is um i've lined a tray with parchment paper and all you're going to do is you're just going to pick out essentially uh little balls of the mix and mold them Mold these into little balls. And 
them on the tray. That wasn't quite round. Let's give this one another go. When you do place them on the tray, you want to make sure that they're um, a little distance apart um, because they do tend to um, expand in the oven. So you should you should get about 10, maybe 12 out of this uh, batch. more. Yeah, so we've got 10 out of this batch. So last one, let's pull that, get that onto the paper. There we go. Put that aside. And then all you're going to do is take a uh, pistachio or almond, really you can use any nuts, I just like uh, pistachios, and you just want to Press them into the center um, of the cookies, biscuits. There we go. These are now ready to go into the oven. So they go into the oven at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. So it literally takes 10 minutes to bake. You'll know that they're done when they start to turn golden brown. Um, so if you just put it on timer for 10 minutes, they should be fine. Um, so, so you don't have to wait. I've made a batch earlier so you can see what they will look like. Um, so this is how they come out of the oven and I've just put them on a nice decorative plate. Um, it's best to have them warm. Um, I have them with a glass of milk, it's amazing. Um, and they should melt in your mouth, so enjoy. Um, thanks for watching my video today guys, um, the recipe will be available online at www.cardamomkitchenco.uk.com. Have a great Diwali.